Well, we re we've received several questions from our viewers about toning up and how to handle injuries. And with us this morning is our two news fitness expert, Wes Cole. He's here answering those fitness questions. Now, our first one is from Jill. She says, is using free weights better than machines? Is this... Well, you know, most strength coaches will tell you that, mm -hmm. that free weights are more, they're, they're just superior and everything. And I used to believe that too until I had a long discussion with one of my mentors who happens to be a 70 year old plus strength coach who still works out daily. And he, always, he told me that, you know, Wes, sometimes as we get older, things ch change. So I always like to tell people that, yeah, you know, when everything's equal, free weights tend to be a little bit more superior because, because they make you work harder. But, sure. you know, if you're older and say you got bad knees and you can't do lunges or you can't do squats, then without a doubt, the, you know, the machine, you know, doing the leg presses, that makes it a, a, a superior choice. So like I said, I tell people all the time that there's really no absolutes mm -hmm. when it comes to that. You, you pick, you know, what, what you can and you can't do. So machines for many people, especially as we get older, I definitely sure. think that they're definitely something that you might want to consider. Having more options. Having more options, absolutely. Wonderful. Our next question comes from Robert. What is the best way to improve all around athleticism? This is a good question. You know, I work with a lot of athletes, and a lot of athletes are very focused on strength. And without a doubt, strength is a real foundation. What a lot of athletes are really missing is balance training. Hmm. But there's a way that, of course, you can combine athleticism or strength and balance. And it's just real simple. Doing, getting on one leg, doing exercises on one leg. A real simple one leg exercise is just to make lunge all right you'd be surprised how many athletes like that come in they can squat you know a truck but they have all they have a real hard time when I get them on one leg and if you really consider sports things are moving in all different angles sure. on a transverse plane and basically you're using one leg at a time other than maybe a vertical leap you know just a double leg squat has very has very limited potential in athletics so doing basic lunge start on that there's a lot of other single leg exercises like a single leg squat but you know start with stuff like this I guarantee you, you'll see a big difference in your athleticism so Thank you. Maybe those football players should be doing some Pilates. Yeah, well, maybe. 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 Something like that. All right, here's an interesting question Brian has. How can I get rid of a beer gut? <laughs> well, yeah. well, you know, a lot of people, they like you when they have it, when they have like a, a problem area. Sure. They, it's real, it's real tempting to get in the gym and you want to, sure. you want to melt that area off. They want to do a ton of crunches. We all like, do. But, but like I tell everybody, it, it's unfortunate, but the spot reduction, it, I mean, it really is a yeah. myth. I mean, exercise science has really proved that for the last 10, 15 years. They've been searching for a way to do it, but it really, we really mm -hmm. haven't found a way so like I tell people fat cells they you know you, you all when you when you lose weight you lose it all at the same time sure. oftentimes the first place we, we notice weight loss is in the face really? and the neck. so you know I could tell people you know if you got a problem area you got to just get on a basic calorie reduction diet focus on your cardio stop getting on the ground and doing endless amounts of crunches you know I always say that you know the best way to get rid of your gut is think more of the treadmill think less about uh, you know the crunches sure. and like, like I said too when it comes to weight loss it's what you're doing in the kitchen has a lot more to do with it what you're doing in the gym. So, and it's probably the last thing you'll lose is yeah. the one thing that you really <laughs> yeah. want to it lose. It seems always it, se it seems to be that way. All right, one more question here. Anthony says it seems like I always hurt my right shoulder when exercising, no matter what I do. Why is this? Well, you know, the shoulder is one of the most common injuries in weight training, right. and one of the reasons is it's not a it's not a full ball and socket like it like like a hip joint. You know, it, it's it's very susceptible to injury because it's 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 got got a lot of maneuverability, but it's very weak. So you need to make sure that you're when you're doing shoulder exercises that you're doing them properly. And this would be, hi I'd highly recommend everybody maybe talk to a, a trainer, maybe to make sure, because uh, the first thing that when people say my shoulder hurts when I'm doing a push up or a shoulder press, usually it means you're, you're out of alignment. I always tell people it's not weights or the, the, the weight, the heavy weight that's hurting you, it's probably poor alignment. So make sure your technique is right and make sure also too that you warm up your shoulders very well, especially if you're over the age of 40, because like I said, statistically it's one of the most common injuries in weight training. Thank you so much, Thank Wes, you. and always stretch. We saw that earlier. If you have a question that you'd like to answer, Wes, like you'd like Wes to answer, just go to the weekend morning section of our website, kjrh.com, and click on the habitual health link, or you can call Wes at 749-0960 or visit his gym, 46th, just east of Sheridan.